hello hi welcome to tutorial plus in this video I'm going to show you okay how to add mesh inside blender and I'm going to just move those meshes and place it on a table okay so it's a now kind of a box table so I'm going to use this box okay so I'm going just to move it up so I'm just going to press G and press is it access that is press is it in your keyboard and move it up so you can just click over here so I'm just confirming it and uh, now I want to scale it in a single axis so you can see I want to scale in X axis I'm pressing yes and X to scale in this axis X axis so I'm just going to scale it so now what I'm going to do I'm just going to bring in all the mesh not exactly all okay so we are going to add meshes inside blender and I'm going to place it on the box okay so I press shift a okay you see you get a menu drop down menu in this mesh you can just get all uh, meshes you want or else what you can do just go to the top left top here you have a add menu okay so uh, in blender wherever you uh, put your cursor on that was going to show its shortcut name so here you see for add shortcut is shift a okay so you can just go and click this drop down menu or you can just press shift a okay where it will bring in the add menu okay so here I'm going to bring in the add menu here drop down click and I'm going to create a plane so here I created a plane which will you know drop into this Aircon. so here I'm going to scale this one so that I create a floor here after that just go uh, on to the add menu mesh and I'm going to create a cube okay so pressing G and I'm going to bring it to the top of this box here you see I'm just moving it in different axis okay where you can just press is it so that it will perfectly comes to the top of the box here what you have to do in this perspective view it is very clear that it is seated on the the box box or else the table okay so what you have to do is you should not leave it as it is okay so here you see here if I'm just going to place it here okay so from perspective view it looks like it is on the table but if you just rotate it and see you see this is on the fly okay so it's flying so what you can do is you can just press one number pad one so that you can bring the viewport to front orthographic view okay now what I can do just press G and just grab it and place it on top of the box table okay so to bring back to the perspective view you just middle mouse click and come to the perspective view now I'm going to use the shortcut key to add mesh so control a and I'm going to bring in the UV spear okay so it is there now so G is it I'm going to bring it up here and I'm going to just press uh, G and X axis to move it towards X axis and I'm going to press control a and I'm going to create isosphere and press G and is it and I'm going to bring it to the top bring it up a little bit and press G and X axis to bring it here and place it there and again control A so you can easily create anything you want the mesh you want and you can just place it as easy as this here I'm going to just move it closer to this uh, isosphere and shift A and I'm going to create a cone here so G and Z I'm going to bring it up here and G and X to move it here okay almost you know uh, um, maximum uh, meshes has been brought in you can just bring in the monkey here which is a little bit interesting G and Z I'm going to bring it up and place it on top of this okay so here what I can do is I can just press 1 so that I can able to see all the meshes in the front view okay I'm 
sh pressing shift and middle mouse and panning it so that it falls in the middle of the workspace now I'm going to select the monkey monkey face G and X axis I'm going to place it on top of this okay so here you see all the added mesh is in the top of this box table okay so here you see in box table I have placed all the added mesh inside this viewport okay here what I want to check is like th is this perfectly aligned with the base of the box table what I can do is I want to switch this display to wireframe to switch between these what you can do is you can just go over to the right top within the workspace you can just you know shift to wireframe mode solid mode and also you can just go to shading mode and also render mode we will see that later so if you want to know the shortcut you press Z and you can just go into wireframe mode now you see this is the base of the box so what I can do I can select this press G and I can just press Z and I can just place it perfectly almost perfectly on the box table so pressing G and Z and I'm going to place it here G Z and place it here same way there's also G Z placing it here okay so I'm going back to perspective view in the perspective view also you can able to see in wireframe so I'm pressing Z and going to switch back to solid display so if I just leave it on the solid display keep pressing Z and drag a mouse and um, keep the cursor on the solid okay so you can easily switch between the display so here I'm in the shading mode and here I want to rotate it okay so here is the tip so you can easily you know rotate or scale or move with the help of keyboards here you see if I just press G and press Z if I want to move this box 10 units up so I press 10 okay here you see this disappeared the box disappeared it is because it has gone 10 units upward okay in is it access so I'm just undoing it to bring it back so here I'm just selecting the box pressing G and you can fix it to X axis and I press minus 3 so you see in minus 3 units it has come towards the uh, the X axis so I'm just right clicking to you know cancel the move so if I want to rotate it okay so I press R and fix to the axis so if I want to rotate that in X axis I press X and if I give 45 so you see exactly 45 degree it rotated if you want to check check this I'm just you know cancelling it by right clicking so you can go here in the property object property okay so you can see the object property here you can just check it here so here I want to rotate this monkey face so I'm going to press R and give 45 so you see just 45 makes all the axis to rotate so if I just give confirm and you see all the axis to rotate but I didn't specify the axis so I'm just going to undo it now what I do I just press R and fix to axis X axis and I'm going to give 45 degree so here it came 45 degree in the positive side if you want that to happen in negative side I'm just going to cancel it if you want to that to happen in negative side I'm just going to give R to rotate in X axis I'm just pressing R and X now I press minus and 50 you see now this has rotated in negative you can just easily use this it's a most user friendly so I'm going to just cancel it and I'm going to do it again so press R X axis and minus 45 perfect so now I press 1 to switch back to front view and I'm going to 
press EZ and switch back to wireframe okay so selecting this press G and place it on top of this box perfect right so I'm going to switch back to perspective view by middle mouse clicking pressing EZ I'm going to switch back to solid perfect so, hope you like this video kindly share subscribe and keep following if you have any comments leave your comments in the comment section thank you